Jordan on a U.S. government project, <coughs> promoting uh, business projects between Jordan and Israel, helping to create a sense of uh, coexistence and unity in the region. A lot of those projects are still in existence today, so that's something I'm really proud of as well. Um, and then after that, I ended up uh, founding an organization that provides experiences in Israel, uh, trying to build on my own experience in Israel. I was a junior here at uh, Kibbutz Barak, and uh, we're so proud of that too. Uh, we're now the largest provider of Birthright Israel trips uh, under the name Israel Outdoors. We also uh, provide more uh, experiences in Israel for teens in any organization, primarily through uh, a project called BBYO Passport and BBYO Beyond. So. So thank you so much. It's really an honor to be here and to continue to be a part of the Barrett family. I to light the eighth Matua, we are honored to invite Mrs. Rachel Fatusi Zebowitz and Mrs. Nancy Black. <coughs> בת יורם ביפה, ילידת ארץ ישראל, אימא של אילן זבוביץ, תלמיד כיתה י"א בבית ספר ברק. Thank you for this honor. Several years ago, Nancy Black and I were asked to revive the Israel Affairs Committee at Adath Israel. At the time, there wasn't much interest in Israel in our congregation. We decided to start by bringing Israeli culture to our synagogue. Our reasoning was, that once people begin to experience Israeli culture, um, they would fall in love with the country. Once they fall in love with the country, they would be interested in taking the next step and advocating for its well-being. We brought Israel movies, Israeli food, and Israeli speakers to our synagogue. We then received a grant from Nefesh Benefesh and built an elaborate Israeli shuk that approximately 600 people from the community attended last year. Emboldened by the success of our cultural events, we started bringing programs about Israeli advocacy, which included APAC. Five years ago, three people, including Rachel and myself, attended the uh, APAC Policy Conference in Washington. This year, with the help of our rabbi, Rabbi Yanoff, we brought 70 delegates with our synagogue. אנחנו מתכבדים להזמין את ורד הדס קוזניץ, בוגרת בית ספר ברק בעקיבא משנת 1993. אני הדס קוזנץ, בת יואל ואלה, ילידת חיפה ישראל, בוגרת בית ספר עקיבא משנת 1993. Thank you for the honor. Uh, my first connection to Israel was being born there. Even though my family moved to the United States when I was two years old, speaking Hebrew at home and having a dual citizenship had a huge impact on how I thought of myself and my identity. In high school, I attended Akiba Hebrew Academy's Tichon Roma Yerushalayim semester abroad program in my junior year, and that's when I decided that after high school, I would postpone college to join the Israeli Defense Forces. In the Army, I became an instructor for volunteers for Israel. I often worked from, with soldiers from abroad. My Army service from 1993 until 1995 was bookended by two major events. The peace agreement between Yitzhak Rabin and Yasser Arafat, you know that picture of uh, then -pres American President Bill Clinton in between the two leaders. Just before I began my service and after I completed my service was Rabin's assassination. 
1993 until 1995 were a couple of very intense, some would say even very positive, years for the Israeli-Arab peace process, and it was during that time that I decided to pursue journalism as a career, because there was so much going on. Eventually, my news path led me to where I am today at KYW News Radio. I've been fortunate to have reported on location in Israel about security in Israel, and then returned to Israel to put together a series of reports and video blogs about Israel's 60th anniversary five years ago. I've covered everything from the Second Lebanon War to local terrorism, and my experiences have given me insight into how important it is, in my opinion, to take all sides of a story into consideration when it comes to news writing. to light the 10th Matsua, we are honored to invite Sarah Nelson, an 8th grader at Barrett, and her mother, Mrs. Holly Nelson. Anitsi Pora, Bat Chama Vanachim Shmuel, Yelidat, Chicago, Illinois, and Lahit through my participation in the Jewish Federation of Greater Philadelphia, I have gone on many missions to Israel. Each time I learn something new about our wonderful Jewish state, and each time I am able to help someone who is in need. We support Israel every day by raising money, helping those less fortunate, and visiting. We love Israel. Sarah Batsipora Vanahum, Yelida, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, Tommy Da, Kita, Fed, Bibet, Zephyr, Barrick. Recently, we returned from an incredible bike ride called the Goodwill Vet. For four days, we biked alongside able bodied and disabled riders in a benefit for the Israeli Sports Center for the Disabled. We raised more than $4,000 for a friends and family who supported us on the ride. It was amazing. From our brothers and sisters in Israel, we have learned a lesson in tolerance, acceptance, and equality. We have learned that everyone has something to add to the fabric of Israeli society, and each individual is incredibly special in their own right. Anu mit kavod lahasi mishoa lidvod hom ha taut ha shishi vechamesh. The lead preferred Medinat Yisrael. La la pata misua chavisle anu mitkabdim lazmin et Samantha Levin talmidat kita yud bet veit zechavarak et horia Michelle ve Robert Levin veit zavata veret Marcy Levin. To light the eleven and last Matsua, we are honored to invite Samantha. We are honored to invite Samantha Levin, a senior at Barrett, her parents, Michelle and Robert Levin, and her grandmother, Mrs. Marcy Levin. Ani Hadar Bahain Yehuda Vimaka. Yelida Philadelphia Tami Dak Kita Yudbet Bubesi. Ani Hain Yehuda Ben Ozer Moshe Yalit Philadelphia. Vani Maka Babaruf in Netanya, Yelidit, Philadelphia. Harim Shem Talmidit Barak, Jacob Samantha and Andrew Levin. Ani Masha Yakov Elhana, Yelidit, Philadelphia. 
soft tail shell, tummy dog, Barrett, Jacob, Samantha. <laughs> On behalf of my parents and grandmother, I want to express how honored we are to be recognized for our love for Israel during this torch ceremony. Ever since I joined Israel Club at Barrick, I've been involved in planning countless events. As the co-president of the Israel Club, I'm proud to bring Israeli culture and Ruach through the halls of our school and to our community. All of us in the Levin family have traveled to Israel many times, but this past December, Rob and I had the honor of co-chairing the Philadelphia Mega Mission to Israel, leading 200 people on a nine-day adventure. This trip marked the first time that the three generations of Levins traveled to Israel together. The participants on the mission ranged in age from eight, 6 to 86. The mission had many, many highlights, but the most rewarding for Rob and me was bringing 120 first-timers to Israel and watching them fall in love with our Jewish homeland and creating 200 new ambassadors for the state of Israel, all from the city of Philadelphia. The most memorable day of the trip for our family was dedicating the Alvin M. Levin Field in Moshav Mahor, located in the Menashe region of Israel. The Alvin M. Levin Field is a baseball softball field built in Israel and is named for uh, my beloved father, may he rest in peace, uh, my mom's husband, grandfather, Alvin M. Levin. My father had a tremendous love for both baseball and Israel. By dedicating this field in his memory, my mother, Marcy, is enabling generations of Israeli children to learn the joys and lessons of a baseball has to offer. Thanks to this new field, Moshav Mahor is looking forward to hosting the Maccabi Maccabi Games this summer.